My name is Leontine, or Tina Bundy Nappy, and I was born in on August 18th, 1941, in Washoe, in Reno, Nevada. My parents lived in Washoe Valley. My sister and I went to a one-room schoolhouse in Washoe Valley called Franktown School. Uh, graduated from the university uh, system, I think, in 1950, in 1963 with a degree in English. I immediately went and did a world tour, went to Europe in the Middle East, hitchhiking through a lot of the Arab countries at that time. It was amazing. I thought I would never come back to Washoe Valley, but Reno and Nevada had open space. And you cannot, I miss the open space. And then I landed a wonderful job uh, with Dr. Richard and Maya Miller, who had moved to Washoe Valley. They had purchased a place called Orchard House. They purchased Washoe Pines and they turned it into an ecological center called Foresta Institute for Ocean and Mountain Studies. He wanted to start a program on rare and endangered species of Nevada wildlife. And at that time, uh, Dr. Miller was an ichthyologist, which means he studied fish, and Nevada has probably one of the largest uh, genre of endangered fish of any of the states. And so that's where we started and I worked for him and became involved in conservation. I may have been the first um, wildlife person who was hired by a nonprofit organization to focus on Nevada wildlife. One of the successes of our work was to pass the first Nevada's first rare and endangered species law. It was the first state-based law in the nation dealing specifically with rare and endangered species. And it still amazes me how our legislature approved it. It's on my environmental world, which is probably my religion, I would say, of sorts, I joined the League of Women Voters, which was quite prominent at that time. They got involved in the uh, saving Lake Tahoe, developing the park, the whole bi-state compact issue that came up during that time. And I was particularly involved in the Pyramid Lake aspect. The, during their first compact negotiations, the state of Nevada wanted to divide the waters which originate in California but come into Nevada, into Lake Tahoe, and then go to Pyramid Lake uh, their first negotiations did not include any consideration for the Pyramid Lake tribe. And we opposed that because developing, dividing the waters without thinking about Pyramid Lake and the endangered fish that were in there, the, the kiwi and the Lahontan cutthroat trout, was not acceptable. And eventually the federal area, federal government and the state of California agreed. And during this time, one of the most important things for wildlife did occur. Under Nevada water, uh, water law, wildlife had never been considered as a valid use of water. It was mining, agriculture, commercial use, and in order to placate the Indians, they declared recreation as a beneficial use of water, and that allowed the Department of Wildlife to speak up for water for wildlife in the state. It's very hard to believe that this had never occurred before. I feel that, that we're all part of a, a time and a system, and what we want to do is to advance that a little bit in the areas that we care about, and my area happens to be wildlife and water. Mm -hmm.